All right, everyone, before we head out there, I just wanted to show you guys what I'm using. I got the President Fluger size 20. I'm using two pound test P line, floral clear. Or it's the floral, uh, floral carbon coated, two pound test P line. I'll show you guys that real quick. It's a P line, floral coated, two pound test. And then for the rod, like I said, I got my favorite white bird, six foot eight, medium light rod, a rated four to 10 pound test, slow action. I'm using two pound test on it. I'll show you guys how I'm tying that knot real quick, the loop knot. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is just make a simple overhand knot. Just like that. And then make it smaller than a dime. The hole right here, you're just gonna make it smaller than a dime. About that size. Then grab whatever you're using, your mini jig, a jerk bait, whatever you got. Put the tag in through there. Bring it up to where the hole is like that. And then pinch it with your thumb. And then bring your tag in up the main line like six times I'm just gonna go a few times since this line's thick and then you're gonna have two holes you're gonna have two holes like you can see there bring your tag in from the bottom up through the middle of the hole right there through the middle one there you go and then you cinch it up Cut your tag in off. And there we go. Simple loop knot. That's the knot I'm going to be using out there today. And I just want to take the time right now to thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for the, all the subscribes. Thank you guys for the views, the likes, the comments. Appreciate it all. Let's keep this going. Alright you guys, welcome back to the channel. We're just going to be trying these little mini jigs that I poured a few days ago. A 1 16th ounce mini jig. I'm throwing it on my uh, favorite white bird. Medium light rod, 6 foot 8. Rated a 4 to 10 pound test. I'm using two. The reason I'm using the medium light rod is because I don't have a uh, ultra light rod. But I'm going to get one here soon. Try to dial it in a little bit better. But in the meantime, this will do. Like I said, we got it on 2 pound test. And um, the knot that I tied, I think it's like a, I think it's called the loop knot. I'll show you guys that, that at the end of the video or somewhere in there. But that is the little loop knot. They say it gives a better action. I don't know. I've caught them just uh, tying the clinch knot on it. So we'll see if it makes a difference. I'll let you guys know if I see any difference. I have footage from the other day as well when I was out here. A few days ago throwing the drop shot and the mini jig so i'll uh, probably gonna be a video i wasn't expecting really to make a video so it's probably gonna be a video that's all over the place but we'll see if we can make it work let's get our first cast in for today I'm using a dual color right now i think it's like a orange and pink o'clock 
see if anything wants to bite. Let's try it over here. Just popping it, popping it. We're reeling it in really slow. There we go. Little bass. There we go, on a two pound test, little mini jig. All right, there we go, you guys, I guess they work. A little guy. Let's see if we can get on a crappie or a nice bluegill today. So there's a, it comes out like three, like four or five feet and comes out. And it's only about two or three feet deep and then it drops and uh, it gets pretty deep so sometimes you'll feel you think you're getting hit but you're actually hitting the wall but like I said just keep on popping it just reeling it in real slow just watch your line sometimes you won't feel it they'll just take it Go. Oh no. Weeds. Let's try it one more time before we walk around. Make our way around to the other spot over here. Like I said, I'm just using my favorite white bird, six foot eight medium light rod for the 10 pound test. I'm using two on it though because I don't have my I don't own a uh, ultra light rod. I need to get one probably gonna get like a seven foot two or like seven foot six ultra light rod to be able to cast really far maybe seven foot two and then like I said the reel I got it on is this uh, blue finger president forgot the size real small size all right we'll try it right here there's a snag somewhere right here but we'll try it Nothing. Let's go over here. Let's go over here a little bit. That fucking damn snag. Damn it. Forgot about this one. I'll tie another one on. Try this orange one. Like I said, I'm tying it just a little loop knot, just making a circle. You guys probably won't be able to see, so I'm going to show you guys later on. There you go, got a little loop knot. I don't know if you guys can see that. Alright. See if we can come back to this spot and catch one. Let it fall down a little bit more. I've been kind of trying to work the top of it. We're gonna let it hit the bottom, try to let it hit. Just try to work it slower. It's 
been getting pretty cold almost winter about about it's almost there things are going to start slowing down so gonna have to sl start slowing down the bait on that orange one. Thank you. Let's see if we can get another one. snag again. I wonder what that is down there. Damn it, there goes another one. I'm just gonna tie on this uh, like peach color with some blue. The peach glows in the dark. Some like bright yellow. I'm gonna try this one out, see how that works. This is a color I poured yeah, last year, one of the colors. I'm just tying a clinch knot on this one. I don't want to do that uh, loop knot right now. Just want to get back in there. Let's go. Now that I'm looking at it, I think it does have better action with the loop knot. Either way, they both work, but I think it is just a little bit better with that loop knot.
snagged again. Shit, the other day we got snagged and got them all back. We're gonna retie that loop knot again. Seems like it was giving it better action. You don't have to do as much for it to do more. We're just gonna tie that on again. I'm gonna throw one of my uh, three inch tracer shads on it, a white one. We're gonna throw like this pearl green white one. There we go, get some of these out. Just gonna nose hook it like that right in the front like that let's get our first cast in there see if we can uh smack a big one I think I've had a few bites, but nothing so far. There we go. But when I said it, little guy. There we go. I don't know where my bait went though. Flicked it off somewhere. Good thing we brought a few though. There goes a nice one. Alright, let's see if we can get a few more. Get another bait on there. If I can find them. There we go. If you guys want uh, want any of these, check them out on Instagram. On uh, it's a uh, fine line underscore lures. We're just gonna nose hook it once again, just like that. Let's see if we can get on a few more. Sure you guys clean up your shit. Oh, I just got snapped off. Fuck, that was something decent. Damn it. Fuck. I don't know what just happened. 
think I got hit by something hard right now. Gotta hurry up and uh, put this back on so we can get back in the game. I think I just got broken off by a nice one. Either that or we got snagged up really good, but it felt like a good nice bite. That's probably, I have my drag too tight, and then I'm also using that 10 pound braid to uh, 6 pound floor, which should probably go up on size now. Let's see if we can find what that was. There we go. Something little. And crappie or something. Bluegill. Looks fat little bluegill. Little chunky sucker. Gonna throw it back on here. See if we can get a few more with this one. Only brought two of those out here. another bite right there. Let's check it out. Oh fuck man. I just got broken off. I think I'm gonna have to switch up to bigger line. That was a big bite. There's one right there. Talking about bites. A two pound test on the mini J green one. Let's see what it is. Crappie or bluegill? Oh, that's a nice crappie. And that's a chunky one. That's a good one. You gotta see that on that green mini jig right there. That's a slab right there. Alright, there we go on that green mini jig, you guys. Nice fat crappie. See if we can get on another one. All right, let's walk around a little bit more. I think what happened is I didn't tell my knot good enough because I know, I know I could land it. But he did hit it hard though, but I don't know. We'll see, we'll figure it out. 
one or two more times that I break off like that, I'm going to switch lines. There we go. Nice bass. Two pound test. There we go. So we're getting that done, you guys. On that one sixteenth ounce mini jig. Let me know if you guys need any. Good thing we brought this rod out. Alright, let's see if we can get another one with this mini jig. One sixteenth ounce. Make sure you check it out on uh, Instagram. Fine line underscore lures. Oh, we just had a bite right there. They're like real close. They're like all along the, like, like I said, it comes out and then it drops down. So they're all like along here hanging out. And I said every now and then you'll get snagged on that wall down there, but I feel like they're just all hanging out close to it and coming up and taking bait. And oh, I thought I just got hit right there. Right around here, that's where I get hit. Let's see if it happens again. Let's see. Might have been the wall though. Oh, 
know if you guys can see, I'm just popping it, popping it, popping it, reeling it in slow. I'm using a medium light rod, but I need to get an ultra light rod, so probably get that here soon and dial it in a little bit better. But I mean, it's still working, so. There we go. What we got, what we got? Little bass. Hell yeah. Take one cast right here. Oh, I just got hit right there. That was a little hit though. I might have been hitting the weight. I need to start coming out more often. My reflexes are getting slow. Must have been a little bite. I felt There we go. A little crappie. Oh, there goes my bait. All that for this little guy. There it is. Hell yeah, got our bait back. Let's try it out again. For the big one, at least I know they're hungry. Come on, where the big one's at?
Glow in the dark, glow in the dark, being a tracer shaft. 